Burger purists are a, a strange breed, you know what I mean? I would classify them sociologically on the weirdness scale as somewhere between Civil War reenactors and, uh, and foot fetishists. And of course, when I talk about them, frankly, I'm obviously talking about myself. I suspect that I may have had some kind of a prenatal burger experience. I can never remember a time that I wasn't either eating hamburgers or wanting a hamburger. Those dates pretty much define 95% of my time on Earth. Something sad about that. It's the truth. A hamburger is the most powerful food object that ever existed, and it only gets stronger every year. Nothing can weaken it. Nothing can turn back its power. The diets couldn't, the green movement couldn't. Now people are in this whole kick about the unsustainable industrial agribusiness, you know. It doesn't matter. Nobody cares. Everyone wants hamburgers. And they're only gonna want hamburgers. The more people there are, the more hamburgers they're gonna want. There's only one type of hamburger that matters. I mean, there's an infinite variety in terms of, you wanna talk about the meat blend, with or without cheese, but there's no such thing as a, like, salmon burger, lamb burger. Various, like, spiced grotesqueries that, you know, you see described in cooking magazines. Those are not hamburgers. And to try to reinvent it for the sake of a cheap novelty is just to indulge in the gastronomic promiscuity that is decadent and libertine and uh, effete. Thank you very much. Look at this burger. Look how beautiful this is. Now this is a classic coffee shop type burger. You see that you have two slices of American cheese that have been melted onto the bun. You have the classic white enriched bun, the, the puffy soft bun. It's almost like a transparent vehicle for the burger. There's also cheese on the bottom. So now we're talking about three slices of American cheese, which by the way, is the cheese that God intended. You know what else, look at this. I don't know if you, how closely you can see this, but if you can sort of zoom up on this, if you see this hamburger, you see that, see how the juice sort of bubbles in and out? See how the juice moves in it? Like it's like a little mini ecosystem, like tidal flats, you know? See how that juice moves in and out? This is something you don't see on a bad hamburger. I actually shouldn't be eating this hamburger. I'm eating dinner at La Bernadette in two hours, so this is really very bad. I'm a very naughty boy, but you know, I can never resist a hamburger.